guys, Big Mac Dance Call here today, and welcome to the first ever Sigma Saturday! Hooray! Right, so yeah, this um, is Sigma Saturday, and it's going to be one. I don't know how, how long this uh, series is going to be. Basically, I've got an Age of Sigma starter set that's been sat there for since Age of Sigma starter set came out. Um, I've not done anything with it. And my friend that I play 40k with, he's decided he wants to give Age of Sigma a go. So I'm going to get the Age of Sigma starter set built up and painted. And you can follow me along when I do it. Um, so let's have a look at what I've been doing this week. So guys, the uh, models you can see in front of you is what I have built and painted, well built and painted now, what I have built this week. Um, one thing I'd say about the Age of Sigma start set minis is that they are very easy to put together. Um, I think they lend themselves quite well to, to the beginners because they just they, they go together in one simple pose and for a beginner that's really, um, I'd say that's, that's a really good thing. Because you know, if you're not if you're not experienced in modeling and stuff like that, you might not be sure how to pose your minis. You might not think about. Um, let's talk about a, a model with a gun, so something from 40k, like Space Marine. You might not think to turn his head to face the same way the gun is facing, so he's actually aiming his weapon rather than just um, looking in a completely different direction. Um, now, some of the minis could have done with being built in sub-assemblies. I've done it with this guy because um, I, I really like this miniature with his, um, he's got like a spinal spinal column um, ponytail kind of thing going on. I don't know if that's uh, something he's ripped off a victim and then he's um, put the put his hair through the column. Um, but yeah, that hangs down the back and then comes around, the, around his uh, left leg. Uh, it's a really cool looking mini, that one. I'll get, give you a closer look. I have to forgive my dirty hands as well. I can never get them clean with my um, current job. He's got like a really gruesome uh, amount of skulls all over him and everything, as you'd expect for a core miniature. Um, blood for the blood god and skulls for the skull throne and all that. Um, yeah, so there's a closer look at him for you. It's a really, really detailed miniature. You know, one thing people say about the Age of Sigmar miniatures is that they are amazingly detailed um, and yeah they're just um, people are really impressed with the miniatures even if even if they're not that into the game I think they quite like a lot of the miniatures um, yeah so we've got I've, I don't actually know the names for these guys okay so I've just had a quick look in the instruction manual um, these guys are blood warriors these guys are blood reavers he's a blood stoker no he's a blood stoker he's a blood secretor um, that's a mighty lord of corn, and that is a Korgoroth. Um, yeah, so the really, really coolly detailed miniatures. This guy's got a load of. I uh, just snapped something on him. Never mind, I'll fix that uh, at a later date. That's really. Uh, let's get see if we can get a bit of focus on there. Yeah, so this bit I've just snapped. Um, that's one bad thing about the miniatures um, and the three three D um, AutoCAD design miniatures. I think the. They get carried away sometimes and don't think about how delicate it's got to be. Uh, but yeah, it's really like gruesome. This guy's kind of, his whole internal body is like made of skulls and stuff like that. So he's essentially just a, a big pile of moving skulls with flesh around them. And you can see them poking out on various parts of the body. Um, I'm sure you'll have seen these miniatures before, guys, so I won't go into too much detail. This is more a log of, um, of me showing you where I'm up to with them. Um... As I said in the intro, once these miniatures are done and my uh, stone cast from the same set are done, I may stop there with Age of Sigma or I may continue. Um, it's just good to finally get them built as they've been sat in the box doing nothing, as a lot of my miniatures do for, for a long time. So um, these ones will get built, we'll, we'll get playtesting them. Um, me and my friend, we play every now and again, 40k, and we kind of... Um, we're looking at the rule book constantly, so my friend's idea was, you know, it's a four-page rule book. The, you know, it's got to be easier to play than 40k without having to look at the rule book. So we should be able to get a few games in in a night or something, maybe, depending on the sizes of the force we eventually take. 
Um, I know he went to Warhammer World the other day and he got his son his first ever miniature. Um, and also, um, yeah, he got himself a Spire of Dawn set. It's um, unavailable at the minute on the GW website, but they've still got some at Warhammer World. Um, yeah, so he popped there, got himself that. He's going to build up the elves in that. Um, and then we'll probably play um, Chaos against uh, Order. And um, yeah, I'll let you know once we've had that battle, how that got on and what I feel about the rules compared to the GW rules, sorry, the, uh, the 40k rules. Um, so this is just the start of the journey and we'll see how long the journey lasts. Thanks very much for watching guys and I'll see you on the battlefield.